What impact will Germany's naked short selling ban have on U.S. markets ahead? And is global financial regulation doing more harm than good to our markets? Let's bring in Lee Munson, Chief Investment Officer, Portfolio Asset Management, and Rick Santelli on the CME Group floor. All right, gentlemen, Lee Munson. Usually, naked short selling ban is good. Short selling good if you have short selling is good, but the naked sales are not good. But why do you reckon that the market has reacted so negatively to the ban on the naked shorts? Well, two things. First of all, it really calls into the question what the Germans are thinking. The fact that they're banning something that should be you know inherently illegal. I think the, the public needs to understand naked short selling. That's a wrong thing, and when Germany comes out as if this is some great revelation, it calls into question their judgment. I think the sentiment is that what else could they come out if they don't even understand the basic idea that this should have been banned a long time ago? So just, I think that there's fear in the market about this. I'm just wondering whether there's any credibility left with the regulators over in Germany, considering that when you look back to July 08, it wasn't particularly effective when the U.S. did the same thing. Well, I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any credibility, and I think you know George Soros has always talked uh, historically about a cat and mouse game. I think regulators are so far behind. What really worries us is that they don't really know what they're doing. And so that's causing a lot of anxiety for Wall Street because when we're going to do new regulation, we don't think it's going to be effective, but we simply just don't know what they're going to do. So more and, and more uncertainty that, yeah. out there. Rick Santelli, but you know, isn't this in some ways throwing the market a bit of a bone? I mean, it, temporarily, uh, maybe for all of 10 minutes, uh, the markets did react somewhat well to the ban on naked short selling uh, that we saw during the whole crisis back here. Um, so so I, I'm just surprised that people are so concerned when it seems like at least a small step in the right direction. Well, I think uh, that when you try to do things on the fly and the perception in the marketplace is disarray, not organized, too many cooks in the kitchen, and when you add into that that the actual fundamentals are not good so the shooting the messenger i can understand debate on naked short selling but i think this transcends that and moves into zones plus to move that that restriction into the credit markets i, I also think is not what we did in the u.s. and that could also be problematic rick yeah, what I, are they I, hiding what are they hiding rick in other words are they hiding a bad bank balance sheet in europe all of them i'm talking about all the european banks not not just sovereign debt, but other toxic assets. Sue Herrera reminds me this morning that Italy uh, ended mark to market. Now that might be a good thing. I'm no fan of mark to market. But what are they hiding toxic asset wise? And is this part of the fear that's ripped through the markets this morning? Well, I think absolutely the answer, in my opinion, would be yes, but let's take it a step farther. You know, there's not a big industrial base in Greece. There's been debate about the IMF and how much money we put in. Senate voted 94 to zero to make sure we don't bail out anybody through the IMF that can't pay it back. With the industrial base of Greece, do you think that there's any real possibility that they'll be able to pay that money back? I think that logic's at the cornerstone right. of what so makes what this different. So what happens to the euro? <laughs> Lee Munson. The what happens the to the euro? Does it go to parity with the U.S. dollar? No, I don't think it's going to. I think this is where the euro bounces. 123 was a critical support line. We've got a lot of short sellers out there. They're starting to unwind. I think that this is the place where the euro starts to recover. I think that we see it go back to 125, 130 against the dollar. The news just isn't that bad. Why is it going to recover? Know. Why is it going to recover, my friend? Is this immaculate conception? Or I mean, is what? it going to be coordinated <laughs> forex <laughs> intervention <laughs> by some of the major central banks around the world, including the Fed? I'm sorry. 95. As though that would, as though coordinated intervention would work. I mean, just tell me, give me a reason. All right, Let, give me Larry, a lifeline. Why Larry, is the euro going to bottom? Ninety-five percent of speculators right now are short the euro and long the dollar. That's going to unwind. The euro is going to bounce. It may continue to weaken but, over the next couple of years. But, but why? You know. I mean, I, I, to, to Larry's because you point, can't, I mean, you can't what, what's be short the reason? Forever? Do you think that these economies are really going to recover? Do you no, think that? I, Okay, but even Angela Merkel of Germany was saying that the utter existence of the Eurozone is in question right now. I think that this is a lot of fear. I think this is way overblown, and I don't think that we have a bunch of toxic assets that are just hidden across all these balance sheets. How about we the fact that you read the Wall Street Africa. Journal story today, Rick Santelli, they're going to tax the banks to death. Europe is going to tax its banks twice to Australia pay back. Australia is going to have a 40% resource right. tax. Yeah. The United States well, wants to tax its banks. I mean, let's just tax them to death. How about that? A brilliant regulatory idea. 
Yeah, you know, and our guest, it makes all good points, but, you know, there used to be a time where you looked at the currency of a country as stock in that country, and you know what? How can you not go to parity? They're, they're in disarray at this time, and speculators aren't at the bottom of this. For every short, there's a long. Big money hasn't even started to sell the euro yet. Ooh. Ooh. All right, and we're going to leave it there that on that ominous note. That was big. That was big on the way out. Holy cow.